I was in the first grade when it happened. Speculations regarding how it happened are still circulating. Was there a second shooter? Did Lee Harvey even fire a rifle? Was there a broader conspiracy? What's known with certainty is that the event occurred on November 22, 1963, and the 35th President of the United States ended up dead. After talking with Suzette during one of our morning coffee sessions a while back about a book she was reading, I did a Google search for questions about John Kennedy's assassination. In 0.5 seconds, I had links to 9,900,000 results. You gotta love the internet. In the book Mortal Error, author Bernard Menninger lays out a theory I hadn't heard before. Rather than a second gunman on the grassy knoll, the second shot could have accidentally been fired by a U.S. Secret Service agent. How? Protocol required loaded rifles to be pre-staged in motorcade vehicles for ready use in the event of an attack. In response to hearing the second shot, Agent George Hickey, standing on the running board two cars behind the president, reached down and grabbed the rifle. Pulling it upward, he released the safety. There was a jerk as the motorcade sped up. The resulting force could have colluded with Hickey's trigger finger to cause the weapon to accidentally discharge. Yep, another speculation, one which I'm neither here to bunk or debunk. It's not my job, not my desire, and certainly not an area in which I have any expertise whatsoever. The point of my telling this story is to make a point. In presidential motorcades, there are pre-staged elements, prescribed systems, standard practices, and predefined protocols. Secret Service agents follow them. Though in place for much different missions, reasons, and conditions, I have high anticipation you've got some, likely all of these, in your organization as well. While most of us aren't tasked with protecting the leader of the free world, no matter what our job or title, we are entrusted to help ensure that we and our team members work safely and that we go home each and every day in good shape. You know, as we've heard recently, so many times, for so many reasons, we truly are in this together. Each of us is responsible to help create an environment of reliability, efficiency, productivity, and of course, safety. And to help you do this, your organization has created, you guessed it, pre-staged elements, prescribed systems, standard practices, policies, and procedures, and of course, predefined protocols. Most of the time, systems and protocols work, but sometimes they don't. Sometimes, in spite of best intentions and pre-planning, circumstances conspire into a bad outcome, perhaps even the death of a United States president. Simply following procedures without questioning can rapidly set the stage for bad things to escalate. Look, few if any systems or procedures or protocols are perfect, especially when used under changing conditions and circumstances. On top of this, these less than perfect factors and conditions are being interpreted, interfaced with, and executed by people. And people are fallible, which means any one of us, including you and I, are capable of making mistakes or being wrong at any point in time. Think about this. Fallible human beings doing work with imperfect tools, often under far from ideal conditions. This is quite the setup. What's the answer? Vigilant awareness. Healthy, constant, and incessant questioning attitude engagement, ownership, and accountability. I know this sounds like a lot, but it can be achieved on your team or in your organization without spending a ton of money or bringing in the behavior police. That is when you do right things in the right way. How can you get started? Maybe today? You can begin moving in the right direction immediately by latching on to this simple phrase. Healthy sense of unease. Learn it, know it, talk about it, role model it, make it your personal mantra, post it everywhere you see fit. This is how you begin to wake people up. 
adopting the underlying sense of this phrase is an incredibly powerful step you can take as a leader right now to directly help keep bad things from happening. This is where zero events begins. I'm going to be revealing the framework for how to make this happen during our upcoming One Team Challenge. If you'd like to be first to know when your next opportunity to join the challenge begins, click on the link provided on this page. Remember, one team, one goal, one conversation. You're only one framework away. Until next time, my friend, be well and stay safe. I'm Tim Autry. Hey, I trust you enjoyed this video. We do lots of them. Each one of them offers a framework for how to be a more powerful influencer and leader. If you'd like to know when the next one is available, click the red subscribe button and then click on the little bell icon. This alerts YouTube that you'd like to know when your next Leadership Framework video is posted. Be well and stay safe, my friend.